Hi lovelies, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back. By the title, I'm sure you know what today's video is going to be about. So I've had a lot of expecting mummies to be and non-pregnant women message me questions throughout my pregnancy. So with that being said, let's just get straight into this video. Okay, how did you tell your partner you were pregnant? So I was actually at work. I worked throughout the whole Christmas period um, and I got sent home because I was feeling so sick. And before I set off home, I went into Superdrug and I bought myself a twin pack pregnancy test. You ask me why. <laughs> I felt so sick and in my gut, I knew I was pregnant. So I text Reese. I said, I'm being sent home from work. I'm not feeling great. But around this time, Reese was really, really, really unwell. And we look back now and we're, we're quite positive that he had like all the coronavirus symptoms. So me feeling sick, that's what I thought it was. Like we were just, we we're just sick, you know. But in my gut, like I said, I, f I knew I was pregnant. So I text Reese, yep, I'm coming home. I'll see you shortly. Um, I got a taxi home because that is how bad I have felt. The whole journey coming home in the taxi, I have always suffered with car sick. Um, and at this point, I literally felt like I had to ask the driver to pull over because I felt like I was going to vomit. Luckily, I made it home. I got home. I said, babe, I'm here. I'm home. Poked my head around the door to... Hi. <laughs> um, to let him know that I was him. And I ran straight to the ensuite toilet. And they always say the best accurate results is when first thing in the morning, like your first pee. But I couldn't wait, I had to do one. So I did one and I'm sitting there and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and I'm absolutely shitting my pants. Um, and two lines means you're pregnant and then one line, you're not pregnant. Um, and one line popped up and then obviously it was still going across. Um, it was waiting for the, obviously like the urine to, to hit the other little space it had to hit. And yeah, two lines came up and I absolutely sobbed my heart out in the ensuite toilet. So, uh, I built up the courage to unlock the door and walk out and walk into the living room where Reese was. And before he said anything, I literally just put the pregnancy test on the table and I said, we're pregnant. And he looked at me and he just went, he knew, like he, he he knew, he had it in his gut that I was and yeah, he just knew. But he got up, I started crying, he cuddled me and then he grabbed my head, kissed me on my forehead and he said, I've got you and I've got the baby. So, okay, what were your symptoms in your first trimester? So the first thing was, was these, my boobs. They absolutely killed. Um, I'd be putting bras on and they'd be feeling like so tender and sore. Um, another one was nausea. I felt like I was going to be sick all the time. Um, luckily enough, I wasn't. So another symptom I had was acid reflux, um, which I suppose you could call sick. But I was never actually vomiting. It was always acid reflux sort of thing so i was very lucky with that um and i had such weak sense of smell things that i'd always eat like me and other little things i could not stand the smell of it i would just smell like reese's chicken and i'd be like mm. but mm. <laughs> so yeah that that was it since finding out you were pregnant has it changed your relationship with your boyfriend yes Things have changed since we both found out that we were expecting a baby, but for the good. Me and Reese have always been a team. No matter what we've gone through, we've always managed to have each other's back and hold each other together like Lou. Um, so, yeah, things have changed. Like we're, we're so good. We're, we're happy. Um, we're just a team. We always have been a team. How many weeks pregnant are you currently? So I am 30 weeks pregnant and three days. So not long left. What's your appetite been like throughout your first, second and final trimester? 
So my first trimester, I was always hungry, but there were certain things that I couldn't eat, um, like I've mentioned. My second trimester, I went through a patch of forgetting to eat, not eating enough, not wanting to eat, um, and that, that was a really bad pattern. And then now that I'm in my final trimester, I literally want to eat anything and everything. So if I want a cake, I will eat a cake. If I want a salad, I will eat a salad. That is basically my routine. So anything I see that I fancy or suddenly comes in my head like, oh, I fancy apple pie. I will have an apple pie. <laughs> what are the best and worst things about pregnancy so far? The best for me is knowing that myself and Reese have made this little tiny human and I'm carrying him for nine months and at the end of it we get this little beautiful bundle of loveliness and I'm so excited. Another best thing is I have, well I've been in contact with so many new mummies to be and you are all so so lovely, it's so nice sharing our experience together and just getting to know you all. The worst for me is not seeing my family or them experiencing my pregnancy with me um because there was a good good couple of months into my pregnancy um without seeing my mum without seeing my family um without seeing Reese's family it's been pretty tough but other than that that is about it seeing as you are into your fitness have you had any major body worries and are you going to be in a rush to get your body back um, I haven't had any major body worries. Um, my body has changed. I mean, I'm pregnant. Of course, my body is going to change. And no, I'm not going to be in no rush to get my body back. What will be, will be. And at the end of it, I'm going to have a beautiful little baby that I'm going to be looking after. And my full attention and time is going to be on him. So no, I'm not going to be in a rush. You look great before pregnancy, but now you're glowing. How have you maintained your weight? Oh, that's nice. Thanks. Um, so in my first and halfway through my second trimester, I was still training. I popped very early with my bump. So um, in when that happened, it kind of gave me like the motivation to continue training, you know, stay strong, keep fit, keep just keep going kind of thing. Um I'm also eating healthy. I drink water every single day. Um, I've not never ever been one to kind of put on weight. I've always been known as the slim one. So that's basically all I've been doing. That 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 is it. Because well, I'm not training anymore. I just get too tired, and that is me being completely honest. And I have no motivation. So that that is literally all I have been doing. Is pregnancy hair growth a myth? For me, no it isn't. My hair has grown so much since becoming pregnant. I used to work in a hairdresser's and I'd always say, oh, my hair don't grow, I hate it. It's just never gonna be long, you know. My hair used to be so long, it used to be like halfway like down here. And then I remember going to America and I was so hot out there, I was agitated, I was going for a breakup, so I just cut all my hair off. And then since that day, it has never grown. But no, my hair has been absolutely wonderful throughout my pregnancy. I, I can't fault it. It's healthy, it's glowy, it's like in good condition. It does need a little bit of a snip snip. But yeah, look at, I mean, come on. If you know me, you know I've always kind of had like shoulder length hair, but this has really, really grown. So I'm really happy about that. <laughs> Your bump looks like a magazine bump and you have mentioned you haven't had one stretch mark. What is your secret? <laughs> I don't have a secret, but I will show you the products I use. I will just go and get them. So the two products I use on my bump is Johnson's Baby Oil. Okay. And then I use the Cocoa Butter Formula Palmers. I don't know if you can see that. Um, I use them literally well i cream and i oil my bump three times a day and i've done that as soon as i found out i was pregnant because like i've mentioned i popped early and i didn't want stretch marks i just didn't want it i mean i have got a few like around my breast area but obviously that's just the milk and whatever else that's going to be coming through but they are honestly the two products i use throughout my whole pregnancy i haven't got any secrets that that is literally it 
How have you dealt with meaner comments during your pregnancy? <laughs> oh my goodness. How have I dealt with mean comments throughout my pregnancy? I'm, I'm not going to lie. There has been times when I have broke down and I have cried. Um because certain comments have made me feel obviously a certain way and being pregnant obviously your emotions are going to be really sky high anyway but I kind of got to a point where I thought do you know what you have your opinion it's up to me whether I want to listen and I have done exactly that and I've chosen not to listen to certain comments if I if I get sent a message and I click on it and I start reading it and I obviously realise that it is a bitchy comment towards me and what I'm doing with my pregnancy, then instantly blocked. Bye, you're out of the picture kind of thing. Um, one, it's not good for my mental health and I don't want to be feeling upset and sad throughout my pregnancy. And I just think, why knock a girl down while you're pregnant? You're supposed to be keeping each other motivated and it's meant to be an exciting time for me so simply block and it is the best option for me i have watched your journey right from the very start and correct me if i'm wrong but you've had to deal with the loss of your dog a global pandemic which has caused you to be in isolation for months you lost your granddad and even had a tooth removed <laughs> and even black Lives matter protest but you seem to have just kept strong and smiling. How have you managed this throughout your pregnancy? Wow, what a question. Um, you kind of just have to. I mean, for me, I was unfortunate and everything that I've just read has happened to me while being pregnant. Um, the hardest, they've all been really tough, don't get me wrong, but the hardest one for me was the loss of my granddad. He was such a big role model and such a big part of my life. Um, and it's gonna be sad that he won't get to see my little man growing up and you know, you, you get me kind of thing. So you just you just have to, if, if not, you're just gonna end up in this dark hole, your mental health will creep in, which isn't great. And my medicine throughout that whole process has been my partner. He's lifted me, he's given me a kick up the arse, he's forced me into the shower, he's forced me to the shops um, and he has just kept me going and so has my little man, you know, being pregnant. I mean, I'm going to have the best thing at the end of it. So, I mean, live your life to the fullest and just make every day count. That, that is literally all you can do and just be happy. I mean, come on, be happy. What does it feel like when little man kicks about and moves? Oh God. For me, this is really difficult to explain, but the only way I can explain it is if you've ever experienced cramp, but not painful, it's just something under your skin and it's like on the inside and just tap in. But it's such a beautiful feeling. When I first felt him move, I went, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> And now you just you just get used to it, you know, you just feel somebody from the inside tapping at you and kicking you and punching you and keeping you awake all night long, which what's new, that's gonna happen anyway. But it is one of the best feelings I've ever experienced. It's such a beautiful feeling and I am so excited. I just want him here now, like, well, not now, give it a few more weeks and then yeah, we're all good to go. <laughs> Have you had any more cravings other than strawberry milkshake? Yes, ice, ice, baby. <laughs> right so oh, i've got no ice in there left ice cube so yeah obviously strawberry milkshake has been my one of my all-time cravings but ice cubes recently so i will literally go to the freezer get so much ice as i possibly can and i will literally just put it in a glass with a nice drink or something and i would just sit there like slurping away and crunching on the ice and i just like see reese's eyes like this on me like But no, I love it. I absolutely love it. It's just fun, isn't it? Just sitting there, biting the ice and getting on with it. <laughs> you always use baby boy or little man in your posts. Have you and your partner decided on a name yet? 
yes we have so we have finally decided on a name but that will not be revealed until he is here so for now you're just gonna have to get used to me saying little man um yeah how has your partner been throughout the pregnancy he has been absolutely bloody fantastic i can't fault him um he's not missed one appointment he has come to every single um scan appointment midwife appointment you name it he's come with me um even though we've been in the lockdown obviously he's not been allowed in but he's still come with me he's still waited outside he has done everything for me days when i've woken up and i've not been feeling well um and we plan to go and do the food shop he will simply go by himself um he will carry the bags back he will run me baths he will rub my feet he will rub my back he has been fantastic he really has um i know that he's gonna make a fantastic dad and it gets me emotional because he's such a lovely person he this is gonna give him a really big head <laughs> he watches it um he's just been fantastic I, I i i can't say a bad word i really cannot say a bad word so get yourself a reese that's what you need get yourself a reese okay how are you feeling about labor and do you have a birth plan and will you film it um how am i feeling about labor i'm i'm nervous because i don't know what to expect yes i have written a birth plan but it doesn't mean that's going to happen and we're going to stick to that birth plan because i've learned that anything can happen during labor so although i've put together a birth plan i mean let's see what happens who knows the plan is obviously to have a water birth um have reese actually get in the birthing pool with me and help me through it because we got told the other day that only reese will be allowed in um so it will just be me and him i can't have my mum in unfortunately um but i am nervous i just i don't know what to expect so let it be kind of thing you know um will i film it i'm gonna film like little vlogs throughout i i don't know if i will share it with everybody yet i don't know um obviously i've had a few mixed messages people saying keep it for yourself the world doesn't deserve to see it which in a sense i do make them right 100 percent uh, and then other people were like, yeah, I filmed mine. It was the best thing, you know. So 100%, I will vlog it and just to keep. And then if I decide to post it, I will post it. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited. We're getting closer to the due date now. So not long. How do you sleep with a big belly? <laughs> Charming. Um, I have a pregnancy pillow that i used from the very very start of my pregnancy and i still use it now i literally wrap myself in it it comforts the bump you know it cushions it and it just really does help me sleep um i tend to sleep with the fan on that also keeps my temperature down because i get so hot especially during this hot weather um i also sleep with my legs elevated so i get loads of cushions and pillows at the end of my bed just to lift my legs up um but that, that is literally, that is how I sleep. Nothing interesting, not exciting or anything. Final question. What side effects have you had as you got closer to your due date? So I've actually had to write all of them down because I didn't want to leave any out or forget any because I've had quite a few. So the first one is tender, heavy, hot and itchy boobs. Um, I've also had numbness in my left leg that has appeared now in my right leg. The only way I can explain it is that it feels like pins and needles um, and a little bit like sciatica if you've had that. Um, so like I mentioned, I sleep with my legs elevated. When they start to hurt, I walk around a little bit. That's that's basically it because I didn't want to take anything for the pain. Um, I have also had backache. I will walk for a short amount of time and in my lower back, I swear to God, all I feel is baby in my back. Um, if I'm bending down, if I'm cleaning or, you know, the pain just appears out of nowhere. And it's like when you basically pull something in your back, that is generally how it feels. 
Um, I've also experienced tiredness. So I would get like a rush of energy and then I can't bother to do anything. <laughs> That's probably why I haven't even bothered to train. I just, I wake up and some days I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And I, I literally don't do anything. <laughs> just sit there on the sofa. Um, also, I have experienced sore and split bigger lips. Now, this is bizarre. I've, I've like... I don't know how, but I get like pigmentation hair and around my lips started to like stretch and get bigger. And I was thinking, what the hell? Like, is that even a pregnancy symptom? So I've done like some Googling, I've done some research, nothing on there. But I've contacted a few mummies who've had kids and whatever else. And that was one of their symptoms. Their lips would stretch, they've cut, they've split. Um... I mean, it's, it's fine. It looks like I've got huge, big lips, but there you go. Um, and I've also experienced a really bizarre, strange, horrible, horrible, horrible taste on my tongue that leaves me wanting to brush my teeth every single day. Um, or I mean, every fucking three, four times a day is what I mean. Um it's not that metal taste. It is a horrible, horrible, horrible taste. Like, I can't explain it. It, like, whatever I eat, whatever I drink, it leaves, like, this feeling, like, a furry coat feeling of something on my tongue. And it is vile. Um, but that is literally my list of the things that I have suffered with, um, especially in my third trimester my last trimester um yeah i sound like an old person don't i not really good <laughs> okay so that is the end of this q a please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and until next time thank you so much for watching